Newton's Third Law of Motion This is often called the law of action and reaction. According to Newton, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Whenever an object pushes or presses against a second object, there is resistance from it returning the same amount of force. Object 1 must apply enough force to make object 2 move. Let's take a look at a few examples. In order for rockets to reach space, they need to be propelled with a lot of force. Their engine is designed to expel gas downwards, generating the needed thrust. The expelled gas exerts a force on the rocket, following Newton's third law of motion. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. This leads to the rocket experiencing an upward force, which propels it into space. Let's consider another example. When Joan jumps into the air, it's her feet sending the force or momentum down. The action is pushing the ground with her legs, and the ground's reaction is to return that force and push her upward, sort of like the rocket. Since the action or force has an equal and opposite reaction, if she just uses a little force, her jump won't be as high. Think about being in a swimming pool. If you do a more leisurely stroke, you won't travel very far. But if you start to push the water with more effort, that force will propel you faster and further. And soon you'll find that you've made it to the other side of the pool. This sums up Newton's third law of motion, which we can see in action all around us. To learn more about all three laws, check out the full tutorial on our website at gcfglobal.org. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.